What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. A lot of people asking me about Trent Alexander-Arnold and a training guide for him. He's a bit of a unique player, right? Do I think he's the best right back in the game? No. Defensively, you're going to have to give up a lot of stats and a lot of progression points to make him a bit of a beast at the back, right? But because he's on A rating, he also has unwavering form and he's got some really nice player skills. Included in this with the new V2.5 feature of the new update, you can obviously give him any player skills that you want, regardless of what his sk player skills are here at the moment. So, for example, he does have excellent passing skills, um, pretty much everything that you could possibly want for a kind of a right-sided midfielder. He can play there as a secondary role, but what we're going to do is play him, we're going to have two training guides. We're going to have one playing him with that, taking player skills into consideration, and of course, we're also going to have a defensive version of him as well. So I do think that these two versions of him are going to be very, very different and slightly kind of, there's going to be need to be more thought put into how you want to play, right? I think this one that we're going to look at first, um, the defensive build is going to be for your traditional 4-4-2 or, you know, maybe even five at the back, or a very defensive three, five, two, or any variation of three at the back that you want to have, right? I would recommend it for a quick counter, and I would recommend it that, you know, if you are going to be using this guy, you're used to playing with a defensive-minded right back, right? Or as close to defensive-minded as you can get. So there's a couple of things that we want to go for. Also, taking into consideration that we do want to have either blocker or interception on him as an additional skill. Obviously, with the new feature, as I mentioned, we can add player skills. Check out the video on that if you want to know how to do that very easily but yeah look Trent I kind of overlooked him a little bit um, and I have overlooked him a little bit all season I haven't really played with him right back because I usually play um, you know a kind of a center back as my right back whether it's Maldini uh, maybe Philip Lamb or, or not Philip Lamb uh, Kimmich I'm getting confused with my Bayern Munich players Kimmich um, or of course maybe you know the likes of Cafu or Maldini or Puyol or somebody like that that I have a little bit more defensive edge to him right Koundé is also somebody or Timber that I use but Trent is an exceptional player with the way that the gameplay is at the moment especially for pinpoint crossing early crosser with the play style and for those lofted passes in that you don't really need to train up right so we'll go through this fairly handily this is for a defensive minded Trent Alexander Arnold as a right back that's going to be bombarding cross is in you are going to have the engine to get up and down the pitch yes but you're also going to want to be very defensively solid right now there's one slight change i would probably make to this and that would be to just take down the acceleration just a fraction to be able to have the defensive awareness and the offensive awareness pretty much identical right so we'll take that down to have 81 offensive awareness 81 defensive awareness speed acceleration and stamina are all in the mid to high 80s and then we've also got low pass and lofted pass that we don't really need to upgrade too much right so what i would do with this one is i would just pump three more on two dribbling to get his tight possession up to 75 and his ball control to 79 it's not going to help a massive amount defensively but when you do intercept those balls and especially building from the back and from the right flank you will be able to just like have passing you'll be able to have the player skills you'll also be able to have that dribbling you know there's a big difference between having 71 tight possession in my opinion than having 75 right and especially with the dribbling that tracks up you've got an extremely solid defensively sound d defensive right midfield or right back that's going to be able to go into that defensive right midfield position where you're kind of acting as a wing back manually right he can't play there as a primary position but you can kind of cover up the flank especially if you're playing central if you're playing quick counter if you're playing a lot of central kind of uh, areas in your in in the pitch and being able to just get the ball out wide just to have that extra little bit of oomph on the right flank especially if you're playing a 3-5-2 lads it is vital to have a player that's able to get around the pitch very uh you know with a lot of versatility and mobility right so speed and acceleration is excellent but i think the ultimate version of trent is going to be a little bit of defense and then the rest is going to be passing right he's going to be like beckham on the right flank that can also defend and be very aggressive as well as having high stamina right so we've got very similar dribbling stats and low pass and lofted pass is going to go to 90 now you can mix and match a little bit here right Player skills are excellent. You don't need to touch anything with his passing or dribbling past this. I would get the dribbling up and the tight possession up, especially if you're playing him as a right midfield, right wing back kind of uh, position. I definitely think it's a better alternative than having him as a right back. You know, play your three centre backs and then Trent as your kind of Roberto Carlos on the front, on the right um, instead of having, you know, Carlos on the left. He's going to be very, very solid, but this is a more attack-based player. So you are going to be, need to be tuned in a little bit more defensively manually if you're going to be defending manually. 
four into passing, nine into dribbling, eight into dexterity, six into lower body, and one into aerial strength, and five into defending. Now, if you wanted to, you could take one off this if you wanted to, um, and you could, you know, add it to one more to defense to get that tackling up to 79. If you wanted to do that, you're going to have a 93 overall player. If you want to go the other route, um, you can have a 94 overall player, right? Now, if you are looking for an alternative, I definitely recommend Navas. Absolutely, you know, he's, he's, an, he's an unbelievable player, pinpoint crossing and early cross. He's a cross specialist as well as the play style. That's the big kind of thing with Trent in this one. 90 speed, 86 acceleration, 84 stamina, low pass and loft to pass are a little bit less than Trent and defensively he's not going to have that defensive edge but this is going to be tracking up as an alternative if you don't get Trent and you want somebody very similar. So that is it for a training guy, two different versions. I would say that this one is more of a possession based one out wide and this one is more for your, you know, your kind of quick counter long ball counter through the middle and having that option on the flank to be able to switch balls across and be able to find your target man in the box as well so that's it for training guide let me know who else you want i'm working on diaz as well fabinho should be up later uh from the masterful stars keeping that going as well until next time lads we'll talk to you in a bit peace